Hi guys. Um, I have this 24 volt, I'm sorry, 25 volts capacitor. And I'm gonna try to charge it with a step up converter using a 12 volt battery. I'm gonna use a 12, 24 volt LED strip as a ballast between the charging and the source that goes into the capacitor and see if it will work or not this doesn't have much resistance in it but it has ah, a little bit of it better than nothing so I preliminary adjusted the, the buck converter step up converter to 24 volts so I'm gonna connect a voltmeter to the output leads using a negative I'm gonna go to the positive we have zero volts I'm gonna connect the converter and read the readings we have a power light on yeah it's at 24 volts maybe I push it up to 25 Let me get my screwdriver and sorry guys I'm holding camera with one hand and doing the other with the other hand so Okay, we're at 25 volts. Tad up. Right there. And this is no load. The voltmeter reading directly the output of the buck converter. As far as amps. I don't think there's going to be some so much amp so for now I'm leaving the amp con control or adjust untouched so let me connect all these together and I'll fire it up again okay uh, what I did I put this LED in series the positive side of the converter I'm sorry capacitor and these are the voltmeters legs and we show point three is just the residual charge in the capacitors and the negative from the buck converter comes to the negative side of the capacitor and the positive as I mentioned, it goes through the LED, 24 the LED. So I'm gonna hook up the, the converter and see what happens. The LEDs are on and the voltage on the capacitor is going up. And as the voltage would go up, meaning the capacitor is getting full, the lights on the LED should get dimmer and dimmer. But because I adjusted the buck converter with no load, I think now we need to put more load to get it charged. And I risk it and I adjust the amp a little bit first. So here we go. I don't see any difference. And the voltage is the same.
so I will kick up the voltage a little bit assume the capacitor is at let's say whatever 16 volts right now and I'm gonna check the voltage on it hold on I disconnected the power supply to the capacitor and now we're reading just the voltage from the capacitor and it's at 16 16.2 volt so I'm gonna reconnect the power supply and adjust it all the way to the charging point all right the buck converter is connected and we have marginal lights on the leds and we have 16.4 so i'm going to grab the screwdriver and adjust the voltage again at 18.3, 18.2 and you see as I increase the voltage the LEDs get brighter and when the capacitor gets charged they dim out so I'm almost where I want to be there we're at 24 25 volts I'm gonna leave it at that and disconnect the power supply and check the voltage on the capacitor The power supply is disconnected. We're at 25.1 volts. All right. I uh, connected the LED light one end over to the positive side, and I'm going to connect the negative to the negative side. And that's the voltage we have, 24 volts, that's at the uh, capacitor. Here we go. There's not much amp in this capacitor. And the voltage is dropping real fast. Although these LEDs they're the same as that and this one up here but I don't see much light on let me turn the light on hmm. they're on but there's not much light uh, we got 19.67 yeah, the capacitor, it's not a super capacitor, it's just a regular big capacitor. And uh, it's doing its job.
because those LEDs don't draw that much of a current, maybe 0.2 amps altogether. Get the light back. Well, guys, just a little test. See you later.